Hi, this is Diana Trask, and you're listening to Classic Country Breakfast. I did learn, I went on the road just shortly after that, I went on the road with um, Hank Williams Jr., and we were on the road together for over a year. It was a fantastic learning experience because I was out in the heartland, I was on the road all the time, uh, out in the cornfields and, you know, all the all the rodeos and all those sort of things, and I saw America, and I went into every state in the Union, you went on tour with Glenn Campbell too, right? I did Scotland, England and Scotland with Glenn, yeah. Great singer. He walked on stage one night, scared the tar out of me. I was doing one of, I don't know what song it was. But anyway, it was a duet as well. So he just walked on from the wings oh, <laughs> and wow. started singing with me. The audience went absolutely insane. <laughs> yeah, I like that song. And I, I met John, I loved him. I never worked with him, but uh, I loved him. I was at a cocktail party after a show, some some award show or something, and he was there. The Pointer Sisters were there, and I was the fifth Pointer. We were singing songs together. I was oh, wow. the fifth Pointer Sister. <laughs> it was awesome. There's a storm across the valley. Clouds are rolling in. The afternoon is heavy on your shoulders. There's a truck out on the four lane, a mile or more away. The whining of his wheels just make it colder. He's an hour away from riding on your prayers up in the sky. Ten days on the road are barely gone. There's a fire softly burning, suffers on the stove. But it's the light in your eyes that makes him warm. Hey, it's good to be back home again. Yes, it is. Sometimes this old home feels like a long lost friend. Yeah. Be back home again There's all the news to tell him How'd you spend your time What's the latest thing the neighbors say And your mother called last Friday Sunshine made her cry And you felt the baby move just yesterday Hey, it's good to be back home again Yes, it is Sometimes this old farm feels like a long lost friend Yeah, hey, it's good to be back home again And oh, Feel your fingers feather soft upon me The kisses that I live for The love that lights my way Happiness that living with you brings me It's the sweetest thing I know Just spending time with you It's the little thing house of home like a fire softly burning supper on the stove and the light in your eyes that makes me warm hey it's good to be back home again yes it is sometimes this old home feels like a long Be back home again. Yeah, well, we have a huge camel population in Australia, in the centre. And they they run an event for the fastest camel in Australia. They do it in, <laughs> in Alice Springs, godforsaken sort of place out there in the middle. And uh, so I was there. I was working in the Alice Springs, Springs downtown uh, because they had these big events once a year. And... Um, 
a lot of um, um, science from outer space is done from a lot of Americans there actually. So um, we went and did that show, and so I went to see the camel pen. I was pretty fascinated with them; I'd never seen them. And um, I stood up close to them, and the man said to me, "Oh, that's uh, the male and the female. That's a mated couple over there, and th this is the, the group of camels." So I went over there, and I stood right close to the male. He was gorgeous. He had big long lashes, and she had big long lashes, you know. And they were sort of lovey dovey. I got close to them, and he. Um, apparently when you threaten a camel and they're in that sort of situation in situ, um, the idea is that the male will flick urine at the opponent. Mm. So he did that to me and it got in my eyes and my eyes closed shut. I had an allergic reaction. I was supposed to work that night. <laughs> I was in a bathtub with every allerg anti-allergic pill known to man, uh, trying to get my eyes open. So I found out I'm allergic to camel urine. So whenever I go to the doctor and they say, what are your allergies? I say camel urine. <laughs> I've had some incredible reactions from that. <laughs> was it a thrill to go on the Johnny Cash show and sing with him? Oh, God, yes. I was in love with Johnny Cash. Um, he's just, what a, magni what a magnificent person. You know, the real, the real deal. And June, I adore her too. She's another one that was 100% real. And when I did the show with John Cash... They, I went to rehearsal and they'd slotted me to sing this song. I had no idea what it was. I'd never even heard it. So I wasn't going to sing it. So I went up to Johnny and I said, hey, Johnny, listen, I, I don't know this duet that they're talking about you and I doing. I've never even heard it. Could we change it to something else? And he said, sure. What do you want to change it to? I said, you know, the last thing on my mind. He said, okay. He said, talk to the producer. He said, hey, change Diana and I's song. We're doing last thing on the mind. Uh. <laughs> That's how quick that was. <laughs> so I, I know I adored him. Um, was, he had a magnetism. He was on stage. He was breathtaking to sort of, excuse me, there was a power to him, you know. Um, experience and pain, I'd say, mostly. Welcome. Thank you so much. You sure sing great. Oh, thank you, John. It's a pleasure to be here. You know, you. I was just thinking, you're from Melbourne, Australia, sitting here with an Arkansas traveler. and. Uh-huh. <laughs> that's a... About as far apart as the ends of the earth. You know. Just about, but here we are. Cotton to kangaroos. <laughs> <laughs> what do you say? Let's try a good country song. Okay, I'm ready. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a lesson too late for the learning. Made, made of sand, made of sand. In the wink of an eye, my soul is turning. In your hand. Um, 
when I left um, music sort of mainstream, I went back to school and got my degree in uh, local and um, master herbal as a master herbalist with Dr. Christopher's School of Natural Healing in Utah and have been working as uh, and um, actually just working with herbs since I was a little girl, really. But I went and got formally trained and I do quite a lot of that around here in Georgia now and enjoy it. I grow them and um, I you know, make medicine with them, and it's fabulous. Fabulous is a fabulous um, thing to have learned. I believe I saved my husband's life many times with it. I've certainly improved my family's health. And so if you're interested in it, get in Dr. Christopher's site on the web and find out. <laughs> That's the best thing I can do to so tell you. Speaking of websites, where can we find you? Dianatrice.com. We have Dianatrice.com. My cousin runs it down in Australia who is a theatrical personality himself. He was sitting in the alley, a bottle in his hand. And he just looks so down and out, I threw my dollar down. He lifted up his shaggy head and looked me in the eye. I asked him what was in his mind, here was his reply. All I ask of you is time To be a friend To just be there At the other end All I ask of you is time To take my hand To lift me up Try to understand All I ask of you is time She was sitting in the kitchen and her head was in her hands He was fighting for our country, she was all alone again In a quiet desperation, say a prayer and send a note As he walked towards his destiny, she'll wait for him and hope Just be there when I need you most. All I ask of you is time to take my hand, to lift me up, and try to understand. All I ask of you is time. Time. Just your time. I'd like to thank Diana Trask for calling the show, and happy birthday. That wraps up today's edition of Classic Country Breakfast on Ace Country Radio. Coming up next week, I'll be joined by singer-songwriter John P. Strom and Kelly Lang. She's releasing a new single on July 7th called I Think It's Jesus. She'll call in to talk about that. And don't forget to check out ClassicCountryBreakfast.com and Classic Country Breakfast on Facebook. Thanks for listening. Y'all come back now, you hear? <laughs> John Air takes pride in providing affordable HVAC service that is convenient and reliable. Air conditioning and heating systems are vital to the comfort and ambience of your home. For dependable quality service, call John Air at 775-751-2372. 